So I posted about this two-pack arriving yesterday and I got a load of people asking, oh, where did you get that? How did you get that so early? Allow me to let you in on a little secret, folks. This set was available to buy through online retailers and if you give them the required amount of money, they'll simply send it to you once it's available. But if you're still waiting on yours and you want a closer look at Cascade and Javelin, I don't blame you, they look incredible. I don't have any real knowledge of these characters other than they appear in IDW comics that I've yet to read, but seeing the previews I had to take a punt on them because, well they're both repaints and retools of existing toys, Cascade from Siege Chromia and Javelin from Studio Series Bumblebee RC. Now, both of those are toys that I don't mind as such, but they don't immediately spring to mind as toys I'd see repaints off and say, I need to have these. They come in this very impressive big box, covered in gorgeous artwork, and opening up the flap on the box, we get this very impressive pair of body bags. I don't know, it's a strange juxtaposition of lovely presentation with being presented with crumpled tissue paper, but still, let's get them out. I am really impressed with this pair, there's just something about the styling here, the colours, the placement and the use of those colours, it just feels a little outside the norm for the Legacy line, in a really good way, and Legacy's great and all, but besides a few big surprises, you know, I don't, I don't want to keep going on about it, but the fact we have G-Axis really does still shock me to my core, it's all a little bit predictable in execution, sometimes boring even. Cascade with a K is probably the weaker of the two, but still has a ton of charm, especially in that new head sculpt. Since there's only one universal female body shape, as we know, we have that sculpted into essentially a huge backpack, which is a little bit annoying, but again, the styling makes this entire package feel so different, and with it being a character I've got very little investment in, it doesn't bother me that much. We also have a big bag of rifle parts, so you can put them together into this big sniper's rifle, and some extra parts which really don't fit that well into their designated place. But transforming Cascade is fairly simple, the backpack just kind of folds out into a shell that surrounds the body, leaving us with this very sleek and yet very greebly Cybertronian car. The light colours really allow for the sculpted detail to shine, and who can say no to an overall colour scheme like this? The only major downers are the hands at the back, you know, again, not a huge problem on a Cybertronian mode, but still, I would have preferred to have those tucked out of sight, or even folding panels to cover them up. Senate Guard Autobot Javelin. Now, I don't want to play favourites here, but Javelin is absolutely the best of the set. Just look at this design. It just feels so unique, and frankly, a breath of fresh air in the Legacy line. I love it. In a way, it feels a little bit outside of the Transformers aesthetic as a whole, verging on some third-party take on the character. But we get a few gun parts to assemble, like with Cascade, and those can store and be hidden on the backpack. Those incredible lilac and pink tones work so well together, and that head is just wonderful. I am very much into this, folks. Transformation's a little bit more complex, but pleasingly so. There's just enough going on here to raise an eyebrow the first time, but each step is a lot of fun. The feet transforming into the wheels is extremely clever, and it gives you a sort of secondary trans-tech cheetor mode. Look at all of this going on in the middle of the transformation, all ball joints and hinges. It's fun to figure out, and everything snaps together neatly. So we have this very odd Cybertronian tricycle. Well, once again, I love it. The colours and the styling just make this whole package sing. And like Cascade, Javelin's main drawback is the hands at the back. I do wish there was a more elegant solution to this, but at least they're consistent when disappointing me. So yep, pretty much a belter of a set, folks. Highly recommended. It almost feels like they're testing out something a little different, perhaps a little more intricate, a little more out there in terms of what we have now, and I welcome that with open arms. If this was the future of the line for the next year, I'd have no problem with it. The paint apps, even the feel of the toys, it's just something unique. Okay, back to some old crap nobody cares about for next episode. Cheerio!